Hey guys, welcome to day 19 of New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year. This was a challenge that Laura and I tackled about two years ago where we wanted to do 365 activities all around New Zealand in only 365 days. On day 19, we're checking out a sustainable eel farm near the town of Raglan. Check out at the end of this video when we're going to be answering the question that we received on this video the first time we published it. See you then! We are going to the eel farm. We need to follow this for four point, no, 2.4 kilometers until you get to 224 Ohotira Road. You will see a red mailbox on the right. This is very easy to miss. Two, two, four, but that's here, yeah. yeah. We'll meet these people and say, where can we park? Because we can't get up there. Of course we can't. Yeah, exactly. So we arrived there and we're sort of waiting at the red mailbox. Eventually, a lady in one of those 4x4 four four comes down the road and we go up to her and we're like, Hey, we're here for the eel farm. She's farming eels, right? So she's eating the eels, right? And selling them for export. But she does it in a sustainable way. And she's actually one of the only person in New Zealand, I think, to do that, which is pretty great because New Zealand eels are actually a delicacy in many, many parts of the world and they're really well known. So she does that not in an industrial way, but sustainable, which means that she only keeps a small quantity of them. She let them go to maturity instead of getting killing them young. She let them reproduce. She will introduce some in some rivers and all that. So she basically does a whole work. So we're in a farm which is like two two small ponds where the eels come from the river right beside it but the whole farm itself is further upstream but Jan keeps these two ponds so she can show people the eels and stuff like that and she's brought with her a few Tupperware boxes of steak so Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna feed the eels, which is like a really cool way to actually see them really close. And despite them being blind, their instincts are so good that they just like smell it in the water and they slither their way up to the stake and you can even put it just a little bit higher out the water and they'll, they'll slither their way out the water and take it from you and even like have a little tug of war with the stake. So that was really cool to, to see that. They have very good eyesight, but they can smell. So smell like Did you oh, see that? Oh, it's so cute! And it's so cute! The populations are still high because she's just using the one, some of them from the river and not using all of them for farming, which other places would do. So, you know, she's just taking a little bit of the time, farming the eels, sending them to, the, to Asia and places like that, which um, really appreciate the New Zealand eels as a cuisine. <laughs> Now you have to be a little bit quick because the eels have a very strange kind of teeth. So this is the eel mouth. And the teeth of the eel is not being straight, actually facing backward. So if they bite you and you try to pull, you're just, you know, going to hurt yourself more. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for the eel farms. Our tour was about 15 minutes, but honestly, we learned a lot and we had a lot of fun. After our time with Jan and the eels and the ducks, we then head back into Raglan. We just sort of pot around the town a bit. It's a surf town, so Every street corner seems to have a Rip Curl or a Roxy or a Quicksilver or any other sort of surf brands. They're all there because Raglan is like a top surf destination in the world. Who decided to put a cone right here and how did they get it up there? Please explain. It has like a few historic buildings, a bit of artwork here, some sort of back alleys, which you don't expect anything to be down, but it's actually some sort of like hipster joint where people are just 
having a coffee down an alley and it's like tiny little little coffee place. People are just hanging out, just enjoying each other's company. We go back to Raglan Backpackers and they have a spa pool and we've been eyeing up this spa pool since we arrived yesterday and we were like we are getting in that spa pool. It's really nice obviously it's a spa pool but I feel within five minutes I'm burning a lot. I'm not very good with uh, heat. So I'm just there like cooking like a lobster. Robin's just like chillaxing for the whole time like oh yeah this is so nice and I'm literally like the top of my body is white and the bottom is red. It was hard but it was welcome. It was comfortable for five minutes. So after our spa pool sesh we sort of had some food and get ready for our pub quiz and we're meeting one of the guys that works in the hostel and he's like yeah come to the quiz it's the first time this quiz is going on so I don't know what it's going to be like but let's yeah we're going come with us we're answering all the questions we're having a blast we're chit chatting with the locals I'm drinking beer too because I'm not driving tonight whoa whoa Robin is like killing the quiz questions because he's such a freaking nerd. The people we're with are just like, wow, we are so glad we have you on our team. I mean, I, I obviously answer quite a lot myself because I'm really the brains behind this operation. We lost for half a point. And one of the questions, the, the answer was twice the same word. So we, we would have got this half a point. Oh God, anyway, it's fine. I had fun, I'm not winning. I'm a bit competitive. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this somewhat quirky video. Uh, you know, you don't really know what you're going to expect from any tours that you're taking in New Zealand. And uh, this truly was a big surprise for us. We didn't know what, you, what we're going to see. And, you know, we didn't know what it looked like as well. Like, you know, you just... You know, you hear about eels, you see them kind of quite far, but you don't get to see them like that up close or fun. So it was it was quite fun. Now, admittedly, we didn't get that many uh, questions on the video, but Pat was actually talking about another farm that he visited. He visited a sheep farm while near Rotura. He couldn't remember the name of it and said that there is many farms that you can visit in New Zealand. And that is true. New Zealand has a massive farming culture. So, you know, there's a lot of dairy farming. There's a lot of sheep farming. There's a, a like a lot of deer farming as well and there's obviously a, a lot of crops as well where you can grow kiwi fruit um, a lot of stone fruits as well such as peaches and plums um, avocados are popular as well and so you can visit a lot of farms now it doesn't have to be a proper tour there's so many different ways to kind of get a bit of the countryside and farm experience in New Zealand First up, you can stop alongside the road. There is so many uh, farms which actually just have a painted sign on a piece of, of, of wood on the side of the road saying, hey, avocado here is really cheap or real fruit ice cream. And you just saw my smile when saying that. Real fruit ice cream in New Zealand are absolutely fantastic. So it's usually happening around the uh, north of the North Islands, um, kind of anything above, um, you know, just picture Topo, like the big lake in the middle of North Island and trace a line and anything above, you will see quite a lot of that. Now this uh, is usually where you have like blueberry, blackberry or, or strawberry farms and those farms they usually grab those very very fresh berries and mix them with ice cream and twist them into a soft serve and it's absolutely fantastic. It usually costs around five dollars and you also get to gallivant or roam around the farm at the same time you see how they grow strawberries. So that's pretty fun. There is ton of farm tools, there are some really professional like in Rotua. Um, so this is called Agrodome for example and that's probably what Pat was talking about about in a video despite the fact he wasn't sure where it was but we will check out some other farming tools as well around New Zealand's biggest gap here so check that out um, now uh, another way to experience farming in New Zealand is if you in New Zealand on a working holiday visa now that's a visa that allows young people to work and travel in New Zealand for up to one year it has conditions and uh, and different countries have different conditions so you need to check out all the videos on that to learn a little bit more but if you are here on a working holiday visa you could be working in a farm or even volunteering so you can volunteer 
here by doing Woofing, which is Worldwide Organization of Organic Farmers, in which you're going to give a little bit of your time, um, uh, and in exchange you're going to receive food and accommodation. It's a great way to spend about a week doing a farm experience in New Zealand. Another good way is to literally work. There are a lot of dairy farming, uh, sheep shearing, sheep farming, and a lot of farming jobs available for temporary workers, which is perfect if you're here on a working holiday visa. Um, and finally, there is a lot of farm stays. So check out farm stays if you want to, you know, experience the farming kind of style in New Zealand. And you can find those kind of experience on heaps of websites, such as Booking.com, which has plenty. So that's pretty much it. If you are into uh, the farming experience in New Zealand, and uh, yeah. Check those out. Check out nzpocketguide.com. So it's www.nzpocketguide.com. If you are after any travel tips of New Zealand, it's all Bible of New Zealand. And it's all free from us to you. So here you go. And if you do have any questions, you can, one, join us during our live session. It's at 8 a.m. Sunday New Zealand time every single week. It's probably Saturday on your side of the world. So check out the time conversion and see what time it is. And join us live. Laura and I just hang out on the couch with you. And we just... And answer questions that you may have about traveling in New Zealand. And if you can't make it to the live session, you can put your question in the comments of any of our videos and we pick it up and answer them in video um, during our live session as well. When we have a little bit of quiet time, we answer that. And finally, like and subscribe to say thank you for all our hard work. In the meantime, travel awesome. Bye-bye.